The power jockey unit by itself is not revolutionary. It is only a DC to DC converter. However, the impact of the power jockey system in extending the service life of HV battery is. It has the possibility to gain hybrid technology wide acceptance and bring hybrid vehicles into the mainstream of automotive transport, replacing today's gas guzzling and highly polluting vehicles. Public perception of the hybrid vehicle is that it is expensive to repair and the HV battery expensive to replace. This view, though untrue, is not unfounded or unexpected, but it is holding back wide acceptance of this new technology. Vested interest from vehicle manufacturers to the humble motor mechanic, afraid of this sea change, are determined to maintain the status quo and so continue to spread malicious lies and rumors about hybrid vehicles. I believe that truth will prevail and customers will vote with their checkbook. It makes sense to halve their fuel costs. They just don't want to pay double for the privilege, and they don't have to. The Toyota Hybrid is extremely economical, comfortable, reliable, and safe. Opening up the market for older vehicles to those who cannot afford the price of a new vehicle will take the benefits of owning a hybrid vehicle to the general public, especially those of lesser means and who are the people really in need of making these savings. Unlike its petrol cousin, a 15-year-old hybrid vehicle can be just as economical, quiet and comfortable as it was when new. The humble 1998 Prius is only a 1500cc vehicle, but, the, but has the power of a 2000cc petrol version. They were made to be driven. You can drive the 1998 Prius from Auckland to Cromwell in the South Island, a distance of 1400 kilometers, on less than $100 of fuel and in relative comfort. Let us consider the environmental impact. After 250,000 kilometers, a hybrid vehicle would have saved more than 25,000 liters of fuel. Add to these savings in CO2 emissions, savings to the owner in both fuel costs and vehicle maintenance, savings to the country in fuel imports and foreign exchange. It is really just picking the low-hanging fruits in sustainability. HP battery and electric motor uses less common elements and rare earth metals in their manufacture. If we defer or postpone altogether replacement of these HV batteries and electric motors, we reduce to a great extent the damage to our environment in the mining for these exotic minerals and the processing and the production of rare earth metals and their disposals. Many people believe that we are already past peak oil. And even though oil prices are high, they have not escalated as pre predicted because we are currently experiencing a deep and unprecedented global recession. About 60% of all oil produced is used in transport. China's oil consumption at 9 million barrels a day is half that of the United States. China has 30 vehicles per thousand of population to 850 in the United States. It is already the fastest growing market for motor vehicles and is expected to surpass the United States in total of number of vehicles by 2025. Other developing countries such as India, Indonesia and Brazil are also aspiring to become first world economies. When the world economy recovers, upward pressure on oil prices will be enormous. Fuel prices at the pump already high will increase, possibly double, and this in the very near future. Total conversion to hybrid vehicle technology can halve the demand for oil use in transport. Some may argue that electric vehicles will replace hybrid vehicles as the technology of the future, and that hybrid vehicles are just an interim and transitional technology. The reality is that HP batteries used in electric vehicles are much higher in capacity and more expensive. Because of the cyclic, full charge to drain manner in which these batteries are used, they will quickly lose their capacity over time and may require replacement in as little as five years. Replacement cost can be as much as 30000 or more. When we combine the performance of range extenders to electric vehicles, they are even less fuel efficient than hybrid vehicles. Meanwhile, hybrid technology is pushing the boundaries for fuel efficiency and may approach 42 kilometers per liter or 100 miles a gallon. I believe that hybrid vehicles and not electric, ve 
vehicles will dominate the automotive landscape in the future. They will be modified to be used in electric mode more, with a plug-in variant to improve fuel economy even further. Finally, fair goes acquisition that we use our customers as guinea pigs is both unfair and untrue. Our customers come to us with a problem that Toyota cannot provide them with a viable solution. While Toyota does not endorse or recommend HV battery reconditioning or the installation of the power jockey, their recommendation is that these unfortunate owners scrap perfectly good vehicles and send them to the crusher. We offer an affordable and cost-effective solution that will put their vehicles back on the road again. They are free to choose. We do not force our solution upon them. Every hybrid vehicle owner will have to go through this agonizing decision. As the HV battery in their vehicle lose capacity, their vehicle will lose power and fuel economy. Installing a power jockey will recover some of this lost performance. When the time comes for HV battery replacement, they will have the option to choose reconditioning over replacement. There are over 5 million hybrid vehicles in the world today. All major vehicle manufacturers has or have plans for a hybrid model in their product offering. This is an ever-growing and expanding market for the power jockey.